So I think that's it. Thank you for that. Um, initially, I did use more ink colors. Um, and I experimented with that when the pens were uh, not releasing very much ink, so there weren't smudges. And you could see very fine lines of blue or of red or almost orange, um, as well as walnut and, and dark blue or teal blue. But as I moved to the pens that released a lot of ink, it became ungainly to have all these different colors, for me anyway. And I thought perhaps limiting it to two colors would be nice. And it turned out that the walnut and the teal blue worked best for me, partly because in combination they almost make a true black. They, they get a density that's, that's very, um, what would you say, it's, um, it, it provides a depth having the other colors out. I do a lot of gouache with some of these pictures, none of the ones that you saw here, and I didn't feel that there was time to add those to this talk, but um, there are many pictures where I add bright colors, and um, if I do another of these talks at some point, an expanded version, I'll be able to fit some of those in, uh, but otherwise, oh, I'm being, somebody's motioning. Oh, we've got... Are there some gouaches in those books? Well, Esther, do you want to bring up a book that has a gouache in it? Um, because that's a way to stick to the two ink colors, but then at times add uh, a panoply of other colors. While we're getting that book, are there any other questions? Yeah. And what about printmaking? Um, I never really have gotten into printmaking. Uh, as you know, my father was a master etcher. and. Uh, sometime lithographer as well, uh, screen printer. I really like direct, the direct uh, contact with the page. Uh, uh, so the only reproductions would be books then? Books or prints. I do make uh, uh, photographic uh, reproductions of my work, but that's not a true print. It's, it's a, you know, a copy. <laughs> 